Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making a delicious two ingredient lemon bar that is absolutely perfect for summer. Now I know I'm doing things a little bit backward, but I wanted you to see the finished product all the way through. This is what they look like when they're done. And you want it golden brown and splitting on the top. It's not completely done. Well, that's what it looks like when it's cooked. It's not completely done until it's cooled. As I mix these up, you're gonna see them fall. Now you do want at least a nine by 13 pan and a pretty deep one because these are really gonna rise up as they bake. So what you need is an angel food cake mix and a can of lemon pie filling. And we're just gonna mix that together. Now, recipes with the angel food cake mix work because the angel food cake mix already has the eggs in it. All you add to an angel food cake mix is water. Not only we're not adding water, we're adding our lemon pie filling. So you don't want to put anything in this other than the lemon pie filling. You can do these with um, other pie fillings if you would like to. And you can sprinkle a little powdered sugar on them when they're cool if you would like to. It's entirely up to you. Um, if I sprinkle powdered sugar on them, I would do it right before I served it. And you can see there how much that's already started to settle down shrink but it was completely full when I took it out of the oven just make sure you get all your lemon pie filling because that's what the flavor where the flavor is at I mean I really scrape my can good because I don't want to leave any of it in there um, any brands will work you do want you know what 20, 22 ounce can. This one's 22 ounces, I think. Um, these would certainly be good with lime. I think they would be good with cherry or strawberry or blueberry. And you could do it with any of those flavors if you wanted to. Just make different flavored bars. And here is another little tip about this dessert. You don't want to get out your mixer. Just mix it with a spatula or something. Try not to flop it all over your countertop like I just did there. But if you cut this in 24 bars, it is going to be less than 100 calories. Now, it's hard to find a dessert for less than 100 calories. And I know lots of folks are dieting in the spring and the summer because you want to look good in all your summer clothes. And you put on that winter 10 pounds where you were shut up in the house and couldn't get out and work in the yard and all that stuff. But if you're looking for kind of a light dessert, this is a good one. Like I said, less than 100 calories. You can store them in an airtight container in the fridge for a couple weeks. You can freeze them, you know, so you have them for a while. But for an under 100 calorie dessert, this is really, really good. And this is a good one to take, you know, to your Sunday school or your church group meetings, stuff like that perfect for all your cookouts picnics just a good dessert to have on the porch with a cup of coffee and you do want to mix it until you have it all your batter moist or all the cake mix moist you don't want any dry cake mix in there make sure you got it out of the bottom of the bowl good and you can see how much this is already rising up in my bowl spray your pan really good that you're going to bake it in so it will release and you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This is going to take about 25 minutes or so to bake. The batter will be thick, so you're going to have to kind of spread it out in your pan a little bit. And like I said, you know it's done when it's brown and it's splitting. We're going to do a few more cake mix recipes. I was looking around the deli and they want $20 for a plain pound cake like a lemon pound cake or something and I've got a 
lemon pound cake recipe that I do with cake mixes. And I've made that since the kids were little. It's super easy. It's always good. There's like no chance of messing it up. And it certainly don't cost 20 bucks to make it. And everybody loves it. I mean, I took it to get togethers the whole time my kids were growing up. So that's all there is to this. Super, super easy dessert. We're gonna put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Kind of depends on your oven. It could even take a little longer. You do want it about this color and you can see how much this has settled down. But this is nowhere near cool yet. It's gonna keep settling down and you know it'll be lemon bar thickness when it's done okay you can see you know it's kind of pulling away from the edge it's still not you know ready to cut but it's pretty close to the right thickness it'll settle down just a little bit more from this and if i was going to take this somewhere you could take it in this tray but or this pan but i would probably cut it up and put it in some kind of a container so people can get it out easier if I was gonna make it at home, maybe for me and the girls or for dessert with a cookout, I would do it in the pretty pan that I used and just serve it out of that pan. And maybe that I would for sure dust with a little bit of powdered sugar just to make it prettier. You know, whatever you want. You don't have to, like I said, do anything at all in it and it will store in the refrigerator. You can freeze it less than 100 calories if you cut it in 24 bars and you can certainly cut it in 24 bars you know you want them maybe an inch inch and a half by two to three inches and that's it so you can get quite a few desserts out of this one pan these are not super super cheap to make but they're certainly way less expensive than anything you're going to buy in the deli and they're way way less expensive than those 100 calorie snack packs so if you're dieting keep this in mind under 100 calories before we go i want to share matthew 6 34 with you take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. There is a lot of desperation right now. And a lot of people are very nervous about things that are going on with the economy and foreign policy and all kinds of stuff like that. There's even some panic going on. As Christians, that's not who we're supposed to be. Certainly watch the signs of the times. Certainly be aware of what's going on. But don't worry so much about tomorrow that you miss the blessings of today. If you are here, you are blessed. If you are here, God has something for you to do today. And if you're so worried about tomorrow, that you can't see the joy of the day, then you're missing life altogether. And you are definitely not trusting God. He, you know, I don't know what, what tomorrow holds, but as a Christian, I definitely know who holds tomorrow. And you should be assured of that as well if you are a Christian. If you believe in God, if you have been saved, He will take care of you no matter what comes. And, you know, we've also before several times gone over the verse, all things work for the good of them who love the Lord and are called by His name. If you are a Christian, God's going to take care of you. So, be ready for what's going to come. Make sure your house is in order. Make sure you have the things you need. Make sure you have extra to share. But don't spend all your time worried about tomorrow. Look at what He has for you today and enjoy what He's given you today. I want to thank you so much for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. Share this recipe with all your friends or just share the lemon bars with them. You don't have to tell them how easy they were. But until next time, remember to put God first.